Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see few Scopus Index journals which are paid and unpaid and uh, which are related to mathematics, English, computer science, engineering, social science, English, language, linguistics and everything. Uh, so let's start. <music> Before we proceed, I would like to show you that this is my channel that is Gomes Tech Talks. You can subscribe to the channel to get the latest videos. And I have two playlists, important playlists for all the researchers. So one is all about the research and second one is SEI Scopus and next show one UGC CAR Web of Science Index Journals. So this two playlists will be very, very useful for all the researchers. So you can find the journal which are indexed in these uh, important databases for all the domains. Okay, you can click here and see and this is all about the research. So let us proceed with the today's video. <laughs> So this is the very first journal which I am going to discuss. This is International Journal of Reconfigurable and Embedded Systems. So here you can see this is since 2021. And these are all the scope of the journal that is mathematics, engineering, computer science, computer science, hardware and architecture. So if you click on this source homepage, it will take you to this page. Okay. So here you can find all the information about this particular journal and you can see that they are issuing three issues per year. They are publishing three issues per year and nearly 15 manuscripts per issue. So 45 manuscripts per year. Okay. So if you just, if you want to just uh, see about the f aim and the scope, scope of the journal, you can find many, lot and lot of scopes they are covering. It's nearly like uh, you can see all the informations over here. You can find whether it uh, it, it is related to your domain. Okay, so like communication centric design, communication aware, F FPGA, compilation, everything. So here you have to pay a fees. Uh, there is no article submission fees, but our article publication fee is there. You have to pay 225 US dollars. So that is what it's mentioned here. So this is what this is. Um, uh, this is the first journal which we are discussing. So uh, 225 USD, if you just convert it into INR, it will be around 18,540 rupees. Okay, so apart from that, you can just mail the um, mail the editor for the wave off. That is also possible. So you have to also check for authors to know more about the journal publications. That is journal format, uh, article formats, and everything. So let us go to the next journal, which is International Journal of Agile Systems and Management. So here, this is a multidisciplinary journal, and this is since 2006 and 2011 to present so it also covers computer science engineering industrial so i received some comments for publishing iot based journal iot um, computer aided designs and uh, multidisciplinary in the sense you can publish almost all the uh, uh, all the discipline which is under computer science okay so if you click on this is in the science publisher if you click on the source home page it will take you to this so here you can find various uh, various scope whichever they are covering and then if you see here you can see that this is four issues per year okay and here also you can see there is no charges for publishing so you can directly go ahead click here for author guidelines to more know about this particular journal so the next journal is what International Journal of Applied Systematic Systemic Studies. So here it's since, okay, so 2007 to 2018, 2020, it is there, 2022, it is there. So they are covering decision sciences, engineering control, computer sciences and applications. So if you click on this page here, you can find even they are publishing four issues per year and you can find the complete information about what are the scope of the journal and uh, there is no charges to submit in this particular journal. The next one is what International Journal of Services, Technology and Management. So here 
they are covering business management and accounting marketing engineering general engineering business management accounting computer science and application so if you click on here it will take you to this page they are publishing nearly six issues per year and these are all the various scope they are covering so if you click on the submitting articles you can see there are no charges for this particular uh, publication so they don't want to pay any charges but always in the science will be a very good and top publisher so uh, be prepared like you have to submit and you have to wait at least uh, two to three months for the first review okay so make sure that you are publishing you are submitting it um earlier before like whatever whenever you just wanted don't if you are if you are in rush don't submit in the uh, in a sense probably or else you can just mail to that particular editor and ask how it, this will be processed next one is what the language and literature this is since 1996 great and arts and humanities arts and humanities language and linguistics social sciences they are covering all these things and if you click on this journal here you can see that they are publishing four issues per year and if you go to the submission guidelines you can find more information about the submission guidelines that is there are no fees payable to submit or publish in this journal and you can also find more information about what are the aim and scope of the journal here you can understand what uh, they are just concentrating on and uh, the last journal is what um so the uh, journal of english language and literature so this is what the last journal which we are planning uh, we plan i plan to discuss so this is what english journal of english language and literature this is since 2021 arts humanities arts social science education and everything so if you click here uh, you can find more information about it but here this is a paid journal so you have to pay this fee okay and you can find more information about uh, what is the previous publication so in the archives if you go and see you can find what is the publication uh, uh, frequency that is four issues per year so for all these journal i would re i recommend please go and check before you plan to submit because i am discussing today but it might be removed from scope as after a month or after two months if you are seeing it later so it is better to go and check twice you can visit the scopus.com and check whether this journal is since uh, still in scopus and you have to see this present okay uh, that is from when to present it is there or not second thing is you have to uh, think about the plagiarism policy like how much percentage they are accepting for uh, the plagiarism that is what is the percentage of plagiarism they are accepting that is the most important one third one is go and check for the scope aim and scope of the journal what are all the scope they are covering what is exactly they need and whether your subject your article is really related to that particular journal and the fourth one is what you have to check for the template okay so some few journals they'll expect only in the latex format and the few journals they'll be expecting in the word format so ensure that you are properly following that the author instructions so few journals they will not give you any template they will just give you an instruction that is an author instruction that you have to follow you cannot blindly just use the template and work on it the fifth one is you should always check whether there is any hidden charges like article publication charges article processing charges if you have any doubt you can just mail to that particular editor definitely that will be a contact address given to you in any uh, in the in the website okay you can just go and check whether uh, uh, their contact see, see here so you have a contact us page you can just mail the editor and ask if you have any doubt before proceeding and if uh, in few journals they'll be mentioning about what is the frequency of the journal that is what is the throughput of the journal how long they will take to uh, communicate you before uh, uh, before proceeding further okay so uh, if you are planning to do if you are uh, planning to submit it if you wanted to know about uh, how long it will take so you can better go ahead and uh, ask okay and the final thing is what you should always uh, um, uh, if if it is a paid journal you can ask for wave off okay be patient be uh, be polite be uh, like try to wait because sometimes you will not get the immediate response from the journal 
and don't submit the same article in the multiple journal or in the multiple conferences this may uh, this may lead you to some other mis uh, con that is confusions and uh, your article should not get rejected okay so please um uh, please uh, uh, try to prepare your article in a better way and submit your journal if you have any doubts please leave it in the comment thank you take care bye bye